Got the Profi board plugged into the computer right here. I got the SD card in. Now I'm just having everything set up for this Mace Windu lightsaber so that everything is ready to go. So just gonna put in the last bit of programming through Arduino and then make sure my SD card is set up completely to match it. So right here I'm setting up the SD card and fixing to go into Arduino to to program the board. So this is exactly what I want on there. It's got Rogue Commander, Smooth Fuzz, the one Mace Windu sound font on it. This is where it gets the font directory. And then out in Profios, here on Arduino, I just gotta set it up to the right uh, configuration. So I'll open my configuration, and the one I want is the Mace Windu one. So configure default profi board right here. I want to change that title to the Mace Windu profi board configuration. So first things first, I just got to make sure I'm connected up to the profi board here. So check my tools, port, COM4, down in the bottom corner, profi board V2 on COM4. So everything is there, what I need. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to copy the title right here, go down to Arduino, I'm going to see here, I'll go highlight right across this before the H, and then paste. So this is the configuration that I want on the board. And then once I got it ready, verify. And then it'll go through these whole this, check it to make sure everything is right. It's verified. So now I just go up into the corner here and now I'm gonna upload it to the board. So it's starting to compile a sketch. Okay. So now it's connecting, 4%, Okay, so everything is loaded on here. So now all I have to do is put the SD card in. Okay, now I can disconnect this cable. And hook up the SD card. So now the SD card is on the, on the bottom side, so. Okay, so now I'm using my forceps to fish the SD card back into the slot. Once I get it lined up and slid in, oh, I'll finish pushing it in with my finger. And then slide in all the electronics. Alright, now put the pommel back on. Okay, now that I get the pommel on, I'll hit this. There we go. Now I got the board completely programmed and set up for the Mace Windu. So it's got its own font on it twice. It's got different blade settings just to give different options as far as blade effects. Here, let's give you a look of how this lightsaber is. It is, is older. This is a 2005 Masters replica. So you can see how the hilt looks. Now the ignition is right here and this center piece right here. This screw right here is for holding the, the NeoPixel in hilt PCB in place. And the blade holding screw is up in the top portion of this hilt right here. With this lightsaber it has has a mace window font on it twice. 
uh, two different blade settings on it. So this one is more of a static style version of the Mace Windu one. So it gives you more of the unstable kind of fire blade effect. So there's the clash. Here's the lock up right there. And then if I hold the primary button and then tap the secondary button, I get force lightning effect. And then it has a little blast out. Now if you hold down the primary button for just a little while and then let it go, you get your audible. I'm going to end this once and for all. You are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. Here is just the blaster. So this one runs kind of up and down the blade some. More based on the position that you have the lightsaber in. And then if I hold down the secondary button, tap it to the ground, I get force drag. So the bottom tip lights up, and then it's got uh, more of a breakout setting on here. If I hold down the secondary button and tap it to the wall, yes, this one's got the mount. So, so if I turn it, it changes color, varying on the amount of melt that you're wanting. So it's a really nice, fun setting with blitz with the blade settings on here. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the the second version of the blade style for the Mace Windu font on here. So this one's got a little bit of a flicker. And a, just a hint of brightening whenever it swings. Just a hint. Not a whole lot. So it's got full blade, flash on clash. Now let's see how lock up is. Lock up is more localized on this one. So as I move the blade, the lock up moves down the blade. And then the same thing if I hold down the primary and tap the secondary, then I get the force lightning effect. So there's the blaster. This one's localized. This one's set more to mid blade. One of the first fonts on here is a Teensy Saber font. So this one is set to cyan. Back up, full blade, force lightning. It's harder to see with this color, the force lightning effect. It's like color mode. All I have to do is give it a twist and change it out to green. Tap the power button.
Master Windu. Smooth Jedi. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.